everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you two farmhouse decor DIYs. The main items that I used in this video are from Dollar Tree, so these are really inexpensive to make. I'll be making pedestal frames as well as some farmhouse bases. If you guys want to see what I came up with, then just keep watching. First up are the vases. I'll be using these small bottles from Dollar Tree, this Krylon spray paint in the color Almond, Jute, a scrap piece of burlap, Waverly Inspirations chalk paint in the color Truffle, some cotton stems, my hot glue gun, scissors, and a paintbrush. I'm starting out by spray painting my bottles with my spray paint. I am doing it in my garage because it's really windy outside. If you're going to be spray painting, make sure that you're in a really ventilated area or it's best to do it outside. I did two coats of this spray paint so that my bottles were completely covered and you couldn't see through the paint at all. After my bottles have completely dried, I'm going to be taking this Waverly Inspirations chalk paint in the color Truffle and this small paintbrush, and I'm going to be dry brushing this onto my bottles. I'm taking a little bit of paint on the end of my brush, and then I'm wiping it off on a paper towel so that there's almost no paint on the end of my paintbrush, and then I'm going to be doing that all over the entire bottle until it's completely covered in my brown paint. When I dry brush, I do it in a bunch of different directions. This bottle has a lot of texture on it, so dry brushing is perfect. So anything that sticks up on the bottle, it's gonna hit with paint, and then you're gonna have that distressed, aged look. Now that my bottles are done being painted, I'm taking my scrap burlap, and I'm cutting three strips out of this, and they are about a half inch thick for each strip. Now I'm gonna be taking the burlap strips that I had cut out, and I'm gonna be hot gluing those around the tops of my bottles, and then I'm gonna be cutting off any extra pieces of the burlap. hot gluing jute over the burlap that we just glued on the bottle. I'm going to be placing a little bit of hot glue on the back, placing the jute over top, and then tying a bow in the front. I'm going to be cutting off any excess jute pieces that I have and then taking a little bit of hot glue and placing it underneath the bow and then holding it for just a minute so that the bow stays in place. bottles two and three. I'm doing the exact same thing that I did to the first bottle. I'm taking my burlap strips and I'm hot gluing those on the top of the bottle. I'm cutting off the excess burlap. Then I'm taking my piece of jute. I'm wrapping that around my bottle over top of the burlap, tying a bow, cutting off the excess jute pieces, and then gluing down the bow on the very top. Now that my bottles are all done being made, I'm now going to be placing in some floral stems. I was just going to go with the cotton stems, but I really liked the way that this greenery went with the stems, so I decided to add some of that. I did have this just laying around at home. And also, these uh, cotton stems are from Hobby Lobby, but I did recently see some at Dollar Tree that look really good and high quality. Moving on to the pedestal frames, I'm using Waverly Inspirations chalk paint. I'm also using 5x7 Dollar Tree frames, candlesticks from Dollar Tree, sandpaper, jute, scissors, my hot glue gun, and I'll also be using a paintbrush for this. To start this DIY, I'm taking my 5x7 frames apart. I'm doing this so that it's easier for me to paint them, and I'm going to be painting them in the Waverly Inspirations chalk paint, and the color that I'm using is in plaster, and I did end up doing two coats of this chalk paint.
frames are done drying, I'm taking this 120 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding around all of the edges and the high points that are on the frame. I want some of that gold color that was on the original frame to pop through my paint. Now that my frames are all done, I'm moving on to the glass candlesticks and I'm painting these in that Waverly Inspirations chalk paint in the color plaster once again. I did have to do three coats of this paint. You have to be kind of careful when you're doing chalk paint over glass. You want to make sure that you're letting each coat dry really well in between because if the coats aren't fully dry when you try to do another coat over top, it kind of just takes the paint right off of the glass. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be using chalk paint. If you didn't want to use chalk paint for this project, you could use spray paint. That works really well too. After all of the coats of paint are dry on my candlesticks, I'm taking this 120 grit sandpaper once again, and now I'm just sanding over all of the high points on the candlesticks. I want to give them a distressed look just like I did on my frames. Next up, I'm putting my frames back together along with the pictures that I've chosen to put in my frames. Now I'm going to be putting some jute along the top edge of my candlestick. I'm going to be doing this by using some hot glue. This is going to give it more of a farmhouse look as well as help my frame actually stay on my candlestick. I'm wrapping a bunch of jute around my finger to give me this ball form. I'm going to be putting this in the very top of my candlestick to fill it in a little bit and to do that I'm going to be using some hot glue. I placed hot glue inside of the candlestick and then I stuck the jute on top of that. And then I'm going to be making another ball form to fill in the very center of the candlestick. I did that by just wrapping a bunch of jute around my finger and then cutting off the excess. I placed hot glue on the inside of the candlestick and then placed the jute on top of all of the hot glue so that it sticks down in there really well. By having the jute on the very top of the candlestick, this is really going to help the frame stay on. And here I'm just measuring with my fingers to make sure that my frame's centered on my candlestick. And then I'm going to be using the hot glue to glue the frame on. I just put a bunch of hot glue on the jute and then stuck my frame on. I did hold it there for quite a while to make sure that it stuck on there well. Once it was all glued together, I added some more jute along the top to hide some of that hot glue where I glued the frame on. Once I have that all finished, I took two long pieces of jute and I made a bow on the very front of the candlestick and then I cut off the excess and I did glue the bow on with a little bit of hot glue as well. Now I'm doing the second candlestick the same way that I did the first candlestick. I'll give you a little overview. I'm placing the jute on the very top using my hot glue. I'm gluing the, on the very top to help attach my frame. I made the little ball forms of the jute and then glued them on the inside of the candlestick. Once that was all done, I placed more hot glue on top of the jute and then I placed my frame on top of that hot glue. I held it for quite a while to make sure that my frame was attached very well. And then I took some more jute and went around the very top of my frame and candlestick to make sure all the imperfections were hidden. And then I made a little bow on the very front of my candlestick using some jute and I attached it using my hot glue gun. And that's the last step for this DIY. I really love how both of these turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of my future videos. And let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want to see from me next. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.